welcome to Abstract Boss. Today I am going to be walking you through how I created the bear that showcased my very first textured glitter that I released, which was the Peacock Passion. It is such a cute piece and it already sold, so I cannot show it to you here. So you're gonna have to watch the video to see how I created it and what it looks like at the end. Let's get started. All right, for today's project, I have my bare wooden cutout from Michaels. I got it a couple years ago though, and I haven't seen them since. And then I also am using the Stone Coat Black Base Tint, Patty's Pigment, Crystal Violet, and May Spring Mermaid Dust, Mer Mermaid, Mermaid Dust and Olive Gold. I have my gloves. I have four mixing cups, uh, or four cups for my colors, and one cup for mixing. I am using the KS Artist Choice Ultra UV Epoxy Resin, and I have my brand new. Peacock Passion is what everyone voted for. Um, glitter texture mix. I hand dye and mix things together to create really unique mixes that you can't find anywhere else. So make sure you go check out my Etsy and help support my channel in such a fun way to where you get to enjoy something beautiful and unique for your projects as well. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. Originally, I was just gonna go ahead and do a dirty pour flip cup, but now I am actually just gonna do a black base, do my rocks, and then I'm gonna do kind of like a marbleized effect with the other colors. So I grabbed some smaller cups so I can work with just a little bit of the colors, um, and the big one will be for the black. Starting off, I've already mixed my resin and now I'm just dividing it out into multiple small cups. This helps keep the larger amount of resin that I'm sitting on the side from starting the chemical reaction and gelling up so quickly. So you really wanna make sure that you divide it out as quick as possible. Black is first, so I, since I'm just using the little cups, I don't mind doing it a couple times. Pour more resin, get more black, mix it all up really good, and then pour it out. All right, after the black is poured out, I'm gonna go ahead and mix all my individual colors up and make sure that they are fully mixed before I begin. Now, I'm gonna start with my rocks. Again, I am using the Peacock Passion, which I do have listed on my Etsy. So don't hesitate to go over there and check it out. I have some new stickers released as well, which are my favorite and I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on them. They're amazing. So I'm laying the Peacock Passion Texture Glitter Mix out in mountain form across my bear. Because it's a mix of rocks and different size glitters, I like to pour it out into a coffee filter and then work with it that way. The glitters, as we all know from the dozens, if not hundreds of geodes that we've worked with, love to float. So I just have a little toothpick popsicle stick thingy here and I'm just pushing all of the glitters back into the mix. If you wait until the resin has gelled up some more, then you're not gonna have issues with it floating. But my problem is I really wanna make sure that I have enough time to do the art part of this on the Northern Lights. Um, and so I didn't want to wait until the resin had gelled up a little bit. Since I had a lot of extra resin, I did decide that I'm just gonna go ahead and make a set of four coasters. I really wanted to show you guys what it looked like having the Peacock Passion on top of resin, but also underneath resin. And I think that it looks amazing both ways. So this is my way of showing it off. Now I did place the clear resin down first and I'm just going to pile the rocks right on top and then I'm gonna use two popsicle sticks to sort of push it back together to still maintain that mountain style shape. Now that I've got all my rocks laid down, 
I'm gonna go ahead and start painting on my lines. That is correct, I said painting on my lines. I am using a normal paintbrush and I am taking the different colors and I'm just painting them across. And then I'm just gonna sort of press those colors down to give it a little bit more depth. And now I'm gonna lay in some much thicker lines with the resin just by using these mini spoons that I have. And I'm just going to pour the resin right on top in a bunch of lines. I'm using my paintbrush again to sort of drag the colors through the black now. This is going to help break up my colors and to break up the lines. As those are sitting and doing its magic, I'm just going to dirty pour as quick as possible the remainder colors that I have. So I'm just going to quickly pour them into my coasters and stir them up, mix them around, give them just a really cool abstract color look and style that's going to match the bear. For some of it I also did like a quick dirty pour and then I pulled that up into the top of the bear as well um, and this was just to give it the main lighting effect up top there and then I went back down to my coasters and did the rest of the pouring and the black on the bottom. I was trying to make everything match the bear as much as possible, but without actually having to do the same type of marbling um, effect or the northern light look or anything like that down on the coasters. Okay, once the coasters were done, I went right back up to the top of the bear again, and now I'm just going to use that popsicle stick, and I'm just going to allow some of these colors to drape right back on in here. Everything with this piece really came to layering the lines. That has made such a big difference for this particular effect. And that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you Monday.